Hello, I am Dr. Mohan Rao. In this video, I am going to speak about natural killer cells and their role in reproductive failure that is repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures or implantation failures and unexplained infertility. I am a practicing gynecologist with special interest in the field of reproductive immunology and we have a center, Dr. Rao's Center for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai where we treat patients with reproductive failure using immunomodulatory treatments like lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory medications. Sometime back, when I was in my consulting room, I received a call from London. The patient said, Doctor, uh, I am suffering from four miscarriages. I have done all, my doctor here in London has done all investigations. They are normal. Then he did certain special investigations and these are natural killer cell uh, activity and natural killer cell concentration. And my natural killer cell concentration is high. My natural killer cell activity is high. So he has said that I will require immunomodulatory treatment. So what is this uh, natural killer cells? Is it some uh, something serious? Uh, do I have some disease? Uh, so I started explaining to her what are natural killer cells and what is their function uh, and what, what is their role in reproductive failure. And uh, once uh, she was convinced about it, she decided that she'll come to Mumbai and visit our center for further treatment. So friends, what are these natural killer cells? The natural killer cells are part of our immune system. They are a type of lymphocytes. Now lymphocytes are a type of white blood cells. There are three types of lymphocytes. The T cells, B cells and the third one is natural killer cells. Now T cells as the name suggests T stands for thymus. So these cells are produced in thymus and they are associated with cell mediated immunity. The B cells or B lymphocytes are uh, uh, produced in uh, bone marrow uh, uh, and they are associated with humoral immunity or production of Anti antibodies and the third cells these are the natural killer cells they don't have the T cell receptors or B cell receptors and they contain toxic granules and they have cytotoxic function. So these uh, these cells are important part of innate immunity. Now there are two types of immune response or immunities or immune responses one is the innate immune system and second is the adaptive immune system. Innate immune system is the immune uh, system which uh, comes into action immediately after any foreign antigen or infection comes into our body and it starts fighting that infection or that foreign substance till the adaptive immunity takes over which takes some time. So natural killer cells are part of in innate immunity while the other two lymphocytes, the T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes are part of the uh, uh, adaptive immune system and NK cells are of innate immune system. Now, uh, <clears throat> what, is, what is their importance in the reproductive system? Because which are, we are more concerned with that. So, these natural killer cells are also called as CD56 positive cell. They have a surface marker called CD56. Now, these are of two types, CD56 dim and CD56 bright. The CD56 dim cells are present in the, uh, 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 in the peripheral blood and CD56 dim cells, are bright cells, are present in the endometrial lining. So accordingly, there are two sets of uh, NK cells, those in the peripheral blood and those in the endometrial. Now the cells which are present in the peripheral blood, also called as CD56 dim, are highly cytotoxic cells. They have a uh, cytotoxic activity against infections, especially viral infections and tumor cells. While the uh, second type of uh, cells that is the uh, and, they, and the peripheral blood NK cells constitute around 10% of cells uh, of the lymphocytes in the circulate that, that, are, that are circulating in the blood. While the second type of NK cells that is the endometrial NK cells are CD56 bright type of cells. These are less cytotoxic and they have uh, functions like immunomodulation and immunosurveillance. So these are the commonest type of immunology, immune cells which are present in the endometrial stroma. 
in the follicular phase around 5% of the concentration is 5% but around in the luteal phase in the early and mid luteal phase their concentration goes to up to 30 to 40% and if there is implantation then it can go up to 70% so it is that high and uh, they play an important role in the process of implantation yes natural killer cells are normally required for the process of implantation they produce certain cytokines like tnf alpha il10 il3 gm csf and they have an effect on the uh, decidual spiral vessels the spiral arterioles they lead to dilatation of the spiral arterioles reducing the vascular resistance and this is an absolutely important step for appropriate implantation and appropriate trophoblastic invasion because if it doesn't happen then it can lead to uh, different problems so this is about the uh, role of uh, nk cells in the uh, endometrium now what exactly happens in reproductive failure what is the role of natural killer cells in the reproductive failure now natural killer cells were the first thing which were uh, tested as a uh, to find out whether they have any role in the uh, uh, reproductive failure the in case of peripheral nk uh, cells it was initially found out that patients uh, that in normal pregnancy there is suppression of these peripheral natural killer cell activity so it was the hypothesis was put that in certain patients who fail to suppress this natural killer cell activity they have they face either re repeated miscarriages or recurrent implantation failure and now it has uh, been shown that there is increased number concentration and activity of natural peripheral blood natural killer cells in patients who have either uh, uh, re repeated miscarriages or recurrent implantation failure or unexplained infertility and this was shown in the meta analysis of 22 studies done by sriridya sheshadri and sankara uh, which showed uh, the increase uh, uh, presence of natural killer cells in the peripheral blood secondly coming to the uterine um, uh, uh, uterine nk cells as i mentioned these are cd56 uh, bright type of cells so they are, their concentration is very high in the endometrium however if these cells sometimes can maturate into cd57 type of cells and that is not good cd57 type of cells contain toxic granules in very high concentration like the perforins and granzymes and because of which this cell acquires high high cytotoxicity and it leads uh, um, and it leads to the destruction of trophoblast and leads to reproductive failure it has been shown that there is in increased ratio of cd57 to cd56 cells in patients uh, in endometrium in patients who have recurrent implantation failures is it possible to find out the uh, concentration or find out the function of these nk cells so that we can find out patients who are more likely to be uh, 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 going to have these reproductive failures or uh, where we can prevent reproductive failure that is possible by doing certain tests so the estimation of nk cells can be done either by test for net for peripheral blood nk cells or test for uterine nk cells now for the estimation of uh, peripheral blood nk cells flow cytometry is used and this can be done by three ways the first is estimation of just the cell count the natural killer cell number and concentration second is uh, estimation of an activation marker called as cd69 and third is actually estimation of the natural killer cell activity now the first is the number and the concentration of natural killer cells is a simple test with flow cytometry however there this test has limitation there is no consensus about the uh, higher level of the normal range of these nk cells and there are different values taken by different uh, doctors or different workers while allen beer has taken a value of 12% while uh, dr gavin sack considers 18% as the uh, upper limit of normal but estimation of uterine but if you combine this uh, uh, estimation of concentration of peripheral blood nk cells with estimation of cd69 or uh, estimation of nk cell activity then this test becomes more accurate the nk cell activity can be tested by checking the inhibition of nk cell activity using intravenous immunoglobulins or intralipids or alternatively 
this uh, natural killer cell activity can be checked by a test called as K562 target cell test. So these tests will help in estimation of the peripheral blood NK cell uh, function and uh, whether they are responsible for reproductive failure. The second uh, group of tests are the tests for the endometrial uh, natural killer cells or estimation of the endometrial uh, CD57 type of cells. Now, as I told you, the CD57 type of cells are highly uh, uh, toxic and their presence leads to reproductive failure. So, their estimation can be easily done by doing an endometrial biopsy in the luteal phase and the endometrium is collected in formalin and sent for um, immunohistochemistry. So by doing this immunohistochemistry test, presence of CD57 cells indicates a presence of uh, 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 indicates presence of immunological problem, and the patient can be appropriately treated. Even uh, recent studies have shown that a ratio of CD57 to CD56 cells is a better indicator of immunological problem, especially in patients who are undergoing IVF, and to predict the success of IVF. So these tests will help us to find out patients who have a, a possibility of a immunological problem. There is one more test which is now done and that is the estimation of the, uh, uh, the uh, test to detect the receptors on natural killer cells. These are KIR receptors and uh, that is uh, killer immunoglobulin-like receptors and their interaction with HLAC. And this test also helps to detect uh, detect a uh, patient who has immunological problem and whether immunomodulation will be useful in that case. So what is the future of natural killer cell testing uh, and how it is going to impact uh, the uh, um, reproductive failure in future? So just the thing I just mentioned about the natural killer cell receptors. Yes, there are these are no also these are called KIR receptors. They are of two types, the inhibitory and activity, and they interact with HLA-C to produce immunomodulation or to, uh, this is an important interaction for immune, uh, for uh, allo recognition and to know whether pregnancy will continue or not. For example, if a particular type of KIR, KIR-A interacts with uh, HLA-C2, this interaction will invariably result in reproductive failure. More than 50% cases will lead to reproductive failure. So by doing the uh, KIR HLAC test, we are able to find out couples who are more likely to be benefited, uh, who are more likely to have reproductive failure and who are likely to be benefited by immunomodulatory treatment. Because in this particular interaction, the example which I gave, is leads to inhibition and leads to failure of pregnancy. So if such patients are treated with immunosuppression, it will immunomodulation with immunosuppression, it will never work. And this, these couples will require immune, active immunomodulation using lymphocyte immunization therapy or GCSF, and that will uh, help them. HLAC, uh, uh, KIR HLAC testing will also help in one more field. It will help us to select uh, proper donor eggs. Because with uh, selection of donor egg with proper HLAC configuration will help in preventing immunorejection in the resulting pregnancy. So friends, in conclusion, natural killer cells are important cells of immune system. They are type of lymphocytes, uh, lymphocytes and a part, they are part of innate immunity. There are two types of natural killer cells, CD56 dim which are present in the peripheral blood, which are cytotoxic and uh, against the infection like viral infection and against cancer cells. While the, CD, the second one is CD56 bright, which are present in the endometrium and they are important. They're less cytotoxic, but they're important for immune surveillance and for immunomodulation and they're important for allo recognition. So these test cells can be tested by different tests. Estimation of peripheral blood NK cells can be done their concentration can be tested or their activity can be checked. While in endometrium, estimation of CD57 cells can be done using immunohistochemistry or KIR HLAC testing can be done to find out uh, about the possibility of uh, uh, immunological problem and uh, their prognosis. Uh, and in future, yes, in future, HLAC, uh, KIR uh, HLAC testing is going to be the thing which will be useful 
to find out about immunological problem in reproductive failure and to select couples who will be benefited by active immunomodulated treatment like lymphocyte immunization therapy. Thank you very much.